Dave Palumbo here at my facility, and it is one day away from Hurricane Irma hitting. We did not leave. We did not evacuate. Luckily, we are not in a flood or surge zone where we have to worry about flooding. At least we hope not. As you know, I have that Gator Slough to my right over there. Uh, it's pretty low right now. I don't know how high it'll get. I, we're not in a flood zone here or at least not in a, in a very urgent flood zone. Even though a lot of Cape Coral and Fort Myers has been evacuated, uh, the lower lying areas. So it seems like everyone's coming to my house. I think we're gonna be having a hurricane party. I'm, I am the new shelter on the block. And I don't mind that because it's, uh, in times of need, you have to extend yourself to other people and uh, make it available. So I'm staying. Uh, I believe that, you know, also, you know, people keep saying, oh, this is God's wrath and this is so-and-so's, you know, punishment. I don't believe that for a second. I think that, you know, the negativity in our world, our negative thoughts, a lot of the negative emotions out there, this, this is a really weird time that we're living in right now. And sometimes, you know, that influences the weather. Um, so I, as my wife Amanda taped up our air duct here on my building, I put the word love on it uh, in tape so that uh, this, hopefully the hurricane will, will appreciate my building and will spare it because I have uh, all our offices are in here, the Arx Muscle Studios in here, Species Nutrition Offices, my whole snake collection as well. A stick just fell off a tree. As you can see, if you look at the trees, the wind is definitely building up here and uh, it's getting windy. This is just the outer, I mean, very, very outer bands of this hurricane. It hasn't even really hit Florida yet, even in, uh, at the very, very lowest point. So and that's our, uh, our neighbor, Daryl. He's kind of like the mayor of the Northwoods community here. He, he repaired the roads when they were damaged. He kind of looks out for us. He's been through hurricanes before. He's an expert. You know, I don't profess to be an expert. I profess to be a, a communicator, and that's it. And so, really, you know, everyone is walking around. We're all securing anything that can be lifted up and, and be used as a missile. Unfortunately, these trees uh, are very tall, and if they snap, they could fall in the house. But they, they've been here probably for 80 years. They probably survived way more hurricanes than I have, that's for sure. So hopefully, they'll be fine. Uh, I want to show you guys a little bit in my house if I can get my son. Lo Logan, what are you doing over here? Logan's watching videos. Logan, do you want to come walk over to the uh, garage so we can show all the people watching how um, we put away all the stuff? Come on, let's take a walk. Let's take a walk, Logie. <laughs> we shut off everything, right? All right, Logie, so we're going to walk over to the garage because there's going to be a big storm coming. You know where the storm is? Show me where the storm comes from. Up there, right? Up, up, right, that's right, right. But. You know, we, what do we do in the storm when the, when the fans are on? What do we do in the storm? We turn them off, right? Right, we turn them off. Okay, well, let's show everyone what we did earlier today. We took all the stuff in, right, Logie? We put the cars in the, in the garage. Is that what we did? As you can see, uh, I got, we got the X3 in here. We got my car in the other part of the garage. Um, Denise, Amanda's mom's car will somehow be in here as well. We brought in all the, all the stuff that could be curling around Woo! outside. We don't want that. We want to keep everything nice and tight and bright. We brought everything in here, and we'll be bringing our garbage pails in. The key is with this hurricane is they don't really know exactly what it's going to do yet. It's in Cuba. It's about a Category 4 right now. It went downgraded. They think as it turns and comes up north towards the Florida Keys, it might pick up steam over the ocean and become a Category 5. Now, it's going to hit the Florida Keys and then it's going to come up. You know, it'll go over Naples, it'll go over Miami, Naples. We don't know what it's going to be when it gets to us. You know, it might be downgraded to a hurricane category three, which that's a little better. The winds are, you know, still over 100 miles an hour, but it's not like, you know, going to knock down buildings and stuff like that. So once again, we're in, a, in an unknown certainty at this point. Uh, we can only wait. I think that the hardest part with this hurricane is just watching these news updates all day long and, and knowing that we have 24 hours more before we're going to see what we're going to get. Uh, I have a meteorologist friend of mine, Aaron Tuttle, who's convinced that you know, we're in for like uh, devastation here. He's, you know, he, I guess he's giving me the worst case scenario. Raphael Noble, my Mr. Olympia photographer, is, is very nervous because he's in uh, southeast Florida and he's going to be shooting the Olympia for us. H him and I both might not get out of here. So he's a hurricane watcher. I didn't know this, but he's a hurricane watcher. So he's been sending me reports. So everyone's got th reports, theories. Who knows what's going to happen at this point? All Logan's interested in, I'm interested, is going for a ride in the red car because, Logan, that's where we can forget all our problems, right? You want to go for the ride? All right, wave. I want you to say hi to the camera. <clears throat> 
tell everyone out there, Logan, what we do in the hurricane. We play with the red car, right? So guys, if you're in Florida and in a dangerous zone, stay inside. But for now, play with your red cars because enjoy yourself. You got 24 hours. I will keep you updated all weekend long. Dave Palumbo, Hurricane Irma update. You want to take a walk?